Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host Jaden Washington of The True Podcast here today bringing another incredible video and today we're going to be talking about the law of vibration and to really get this started, I have a quote right here from Never Guarded, you are only limited by the weakness of attention and the poverty of imagination. That is such, such, such an incredible quote from another legend, another philosophy legend, Never Guarded. And you know, I, I want to briefly explain this because this is so key to really the law of vibration. You are only limited by the weakness of your attention. Can you hold yourself? Can you be consciously aware to hold yourself to, to be actively aware and listening and, and have active attention? Because limited by the weakness of attention is key. A lot of people don't understand and a lot of people can't hold their attention on the things that they truly want. And that's what kills their imagination. There's no lack of it, there's no attention, so they can't even focus on imagining what they want in their life. So they just leech off of other people's dreams and goals. That doesn't work. You have to be, you have to be, you have to have your own attention. You have to have attention for yourself, attention, self-awareness, self-love, self-attention, I would like to say. And this helps create a better imagination. No poverty of imagination. You don't want poverty of imagination. You have to use your brain. You have to have your mind be active because we're always evolving. So we're going to start off by saying, I will, saying I will do it and having the will to do it are really the same but two different things. People can say I will do something, but to, to do something, to have the will to do something, you have to, it, it, I'm saying it right now. So the will to do something means you have to have the will to do it, right? Saying I will do something, you have the will to go do it. And then you, you typically follow through with that will. Now the law of attraction, the law of attraction starts in the law of vibration. What is what what vibrations are you at? Are you on the vibrations of your dreams, goals, and desires? Are you are you on the frequency? Are you on the vibration of your dreams, goals, and desires? Ask yourself that. Because if you are, you'll be attracting it. If you haven't got it yet, if you haven't reached where you're at yet, and the law of attraction starts from the law of vibration, so you have to get your frequency on that vibration to then start the attraction process. So your mind attracts brain cells and you impact the entire universe. So once you understand this, once you understand that you literally have your own field, your own vibration, because we are all energy, and everything that we see here is just a manifestation of what we're our inner part of us. So once you understand that everything works on vibrations, everything works off of attraction, then you can start to constantly attract the things you want. Then you can reach the vibration of what you need to do to attract $10,000, to attract $100,000, to attract the person you were looking for, to attract uh, experiences, uh, circumstances, right? Thought waves are cosmic waves that impact all time and space. So thought waves, every thought you have, they're cosmic waves, number one, which means they're universal waves, and they impact all space and time. All space and time. I don't think, uh, should I even have to repeat that? That's huge. So to believe in the things you can see and to touch is no belief. To believe in the things you see and touch is no belief at all. But to believe in the unseen is a triumph and a blessing. Abraham Lincoln. And, and this is so key because what we see is just, that's present moment, but the unseen, the unseen is what drives us to be, to be better, which drives us to, to reach for things that aren't there yet, which drives us to become better as people. The unseen is what's driving most of the action. It's that spiritual fuel, it's that faith, it's that belief in the unseen, it's that belief in the things that aren't there that make it come to life, that manifest it, that attract it because you're on that vibration, that thought wave that you have is on that vibration of that thing that you want. So repetition of staying on that thought keeps you and attracts that to you even faster, right? So those who tell the story rule society. So, so understand, those who tell the story rule society. Those who are on the vibration of telling that story rule society. That's how things work. That's how social norms are created. Because the people that rule society create those things, create the social standard. But see, it's breaking out of that, creating your own vibration, creating your own attraction of field, which then changes everything. 
You are a mass of energy and you function on frequencies. You're a mass of energy and you're functioning on frequencies. So every cell in your body is working to attract something to you. Health, wealth, money, happiness, joy. What are you thinking about? You're a mass of energy and you function on frequencies. What is your vibrations? What are your frequencies at? Are you matching your frequencies and your vibrations with your goals, dreams, and desires? I'm always going to say that because that's so key. And being on those frequencies is what attracts it, right? Energy functions on frequencies. Energies function on frequencies. And frequency is a level of vibration. Well, this is all simple stuff, but it's so key to understand because the, the, the small, simple concepts stack up to build the, the next level of concepts that solidify your understanding in your intellect and your knowledge. So understanding these to then apply in person changes everything. You ever heard the, the, the saying, small things add up to big things? Well, this is that, literally, and it's universal. So it is going to add up to the big things over time. It's not instant. It is not instant. There is an infinite number of frequencies. Understand this. There's an infinite number of frequencies. It never ends. It never ends. Everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. <laughs> Let me read that again, because a lot of people like to argue around this. Everything is energy, and, that there, and that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Energy. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not a philosophy, this is physics. You take care of the cause and effect. You take care of the cause and effect. Always take care, take care of the effect. Wait, no, 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 let me read that again, I'm reading that wrong. You take care of the cause, the effect always takes care of itself. Every time. You take care of the cause, the effect will always happen. Will always happen. So be conscious of what you're doing because it always has an effect. It always has an effect, no matter what you think. Every action you have has an effect, no matter what you think. <laughs> Trust me. Five senses, right? Paint pictures, not thinking. Paint pictures. Your five, sens your five senses paint pictures, not thinking. So you don't even have to think. You don't even have to be constantly trying to think something, right? Sorry, I dropped my notebook. You don't have to be constantly trying to think something, but, but your senses is what causes that thinking in the first place, really. Not only that, but once you start to train your mind and level up your mind, you then are in contact with higher sources, I would like to say, higher intelligence. So the higher faculties, your gifts, perception, will, reason, imagination, memory, intuition, these are things that are gonna really take you to the next level when, it, when it's coming to stepping up and when it comes to the law of vibration. This is what's gonna help you attract, this is what's gonna help you attract and get on that frequency and that vibration of attracting things you want in your life with your higher faculties and leveling up your higher faculties and using them to not just better yourself, but to create the world around you, right? And here's the thing, happiness, health, and wealth are gonna create your results. Happiness, health, and wealth is gonna create your results, right? The law of achievement is gonna tie into the law of vibration because once you hit the, once you get once you get the frequencies down, once you get the vibrations down, this is when achievements start to get hit. The law of achievement, staying on that frequency. So repetition, the action of repeating something that has already been said or written. Alright, repetition, the action. Repetition, definition. The action, the action, the action. The first two words of definition, the action of repeating something that has already been said or written. So all those goals... All those dreams that you've written down, all those, all those things that you want to accomplish, the repetition is the action towards those goals. And that's how you sit, you stay on the vibration to attract it. By having that repetition for taking the action to go towards that goals. So it's so key. Alright? The difference between knowledge and experience. Success. The success is 5% strategy, 95% mindset. And honestly, it really could be more than that. Because I feel like. I, I personally feel like your soul, it drives you, your mindset drives you to do that action, right? So, so the mindset is everything, but it, it, it's all in awareness. 
And you know, I would, <laughs> see I would, for the law of vibration, do the Bob Proctor mind thing, because that's what really causes it, but I already did a video on that. It's all in awareness, and this is how we're gonna end it. There is a miraculous inner world that exists within us, the, and the revelation of such a world enables us to do, to do and to attain and achieve anything we desire within the bounds or limits of nature. So there's no limits on what nature can do. So we have no limits ourselves as being the most highest form of creation. We have no limits. And as you can see in real reality, things keep getting really better and better. But at the same time, for the people who aren't upgrade, up leveling up their minds, things get worse and worse because they don't know what they don't know. They don't know how to get to that next level. But understanding that everything works off of vibrations, matching that vibration of your dreams, goals, and desires, attracts it and taking that action, that repetition, the action, the action. The repetition is the action, the repeated action of the things that you said or written down. So that being said, guys, this is your host, Jaden Washington, the Lucha Podcast. Today, blowing over the law of vibration. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and with that being said, without you guys, there's no mission. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.